let's go to Romans chapter 8, verses 5 through 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So what is that saying there? For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. So what is that saying there? So in this context here, to be after the flesh means people who are sinful. People that don't care about God's rules and regulations. People who pretty much want to do their own thing. Okay. But they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. So people who are intent or they want to serve God. People who want to follow God's rules and regulations. Okay. Verse 6, for to be carnally minded is death. So, to be sinful, to not want to do God's rules and regulations, to have a mind where, hey, I only care about my life, I only care about making money, I only care about getting an education and not caring about serving God being that way is death so your your end is spiritual death meaning you are going to hell if you die that way purposely separating yourself from God you are carnal when you choose to not invite God into your life you are carnal when you choose to stay sinful. What does carnal mean? Let's look it up. Not spiritual, merely human, temporal, worldly. So you are sinful. <laughs> you just don't want to do what God wants you to do. You just want to, what is that slang word or phrase? <laughs> You just want to do you. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So, if you want eternal life and peace, this is saying that you can only find this when you serve God. When you are spiritually minded. When you are choosing to follow his rules and regulations, this is the only time that you can find life, eternal life, and peace. So when you choose to not follow God, death is your route, is your path. So I pray that this makes sense. As you can see here, it is only wise to serve God. Everything else is insignificant. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.